hailed as a breakthrough agreement at the COP28 summit. Pledges to the Loss and Damage Fund, LDF, have proved a major disappointment. So far, the developed nations have pledged a total of just $700 million towards the Loss and Damage Fund at COP28. And that amount covers less than 0.2% of the economic losses that developing nations are facing due to climate change. The Loss and Damage Fund had been seen as a hard one victory by developing countries at the COP28 summit. The developing countries hoped this would signal a commitment by the developed countries that are also the worst polluters to finally provide financial support for countries affected by climate damage. But none of that has happened so far. The US has been, his, has been historically the worst greenhouse gas emitter in the world and the largest producer of oil and gas. It has so far only pledged $17 million dollars Put in perspective, the U.S. has been giving billions of dollars to finance war efforts in Ukraine and Israel. So compare those two figures for a better understanding. Japan, the third largest economy, has offered $10 million, while Italy and France combined have promised over $100 million. Now, according to experts, every year, developing nations face an annual cost of more than $400 billion as damage is triggered by climate change. As per experts, the initial pledges of $700 million is quote-unquote pale in comparison to the colossal need of funding that is estimated in the hundreds of billions annually.